Hey, what is up guys? I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use your Canon EOS Rebel SL3 as a webcam. Um, now there's a couple steps that you're going to have to go through and first off you're going to want to go online to this website. I'll put a link in the description and you're going to want to download the software. It is a digital solution a disk software. Um, you have to download this one for the SL3 there is also um, another site uh, that I'll link in the description which will have each model but unfortunately my model was not a part of this so I had to uh, download this solution one um, and I'm assuming you guys do have the SL3 like I do um, it's a fairly newer camera it's not even a year old and then after you download this um, I think you should have these four items on your um, computer you at least need this utility thing right here because that's going to be the main thing um, and the reason why you need this is for some reason without this um, OBS or any other software you use will not recognize um, your camera but I after you have it you should be able to have your camera like I have right now and you guys can see me but also there's one more thing that you're going to need which is a um, like a HDMI um, adapter pretty much and I will show you guys right here so right here you are going to need something like this this is the um the cam link 4k from elgato you don't necessarily have to buy this this was like 160 dollars, so it's pretty expensive it comes with this little cable that's plugged in right there and it goes all the way to here and then i have an hdmi port piece that goes all the way to my dslr camera um but you're gonna need something that has usb right here a usb like in and then like the um, output or whatever, or maybe this is the input, um, has an HDMI. And um, you can probably find something like this for 10 or $20 online, but I get a lot of Elgato stuff. Like I have a capture card back there that's all dusty and I use it, but you're gonna need that. You're gonna need that, um, that adapter piece that I have down there. And you're gonna need this software. And lastly, I'll show you guys, you're going to want to, um, a problem that I've been having, and I'm sure that you'll have it if you start off, you, the camera has um, autofocus, which for me, I have not been able to find out how to turn it off. And I have tracking on, so it, the square box will track my face. Now, when you record with the camera, it doesn't show up, but when it, whenever you use it as a webcam, it does. So I'm going to show you guys real quick how to fix that. Okay, guys. So what you're going to want to do is go to menu up here and then go all the way over to a uh, shooting settings and then right here where you see hdmi this is all the way if you look at one two three if you go all the way over to four and go all the way down to the bottom where it says hdmi info click on that and it will be right here with info but depending on what you're using it as a webcam if you're using it in 4k then click on this one or if you're just doing 720 or 1080p as a webcam click on this output um, this clean output right here and it will not show anything that the camera will display. It'll only show straight video and you should be good from there. So um, I know that there's a couple steps. First, you're gonna need a um, cam link uh, device, like an adapter, like an HDMI adapter um, to even connect it to your computer as a webcam. Then you're gonna need that utility software and you're gonna need to do this um, but after all that, you should be good. I can show you guys a sample of this recording. It might look, uh, the camera might look a little bit different than using it as a webcam because the quality is a little better. Um, but I will show you guys that right here. Okay, guys, so this is a video of the um, Canon Rebel um, SL3. Now, it does look a little better whenever I'm not using it as a webcam. I don't know why it has a little bit of digital noise whenever you're using it as a webcam. But for the most part, when you're using it as a webcam, um, you're not going to be taking up the whole screen, especially if you're doing gameplay or something. So it's not really a big deal. And on top of that, the lighting in my room is really, really bad. So that's a lot of the reason why I have some of that like pixelation in my videos. Um, it probably will be in this one too. But face tracking is going right now, but you guys won't be able to see it. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.